Hello, everybody. My name is Mary Ann, and I'm the community coordinator for CREATE District 6 um, here in Sacramento, California. And CREATE District 6 mission is to advocate for and support artists in South Sacramento. And we have some incredible partners that we work with and some incredible people on our team. And one of those people I have here with me today is Lorelei Bain. Hi, Lorelei. Hello, nice to be here. So you've been um, working, we've been working together with um, on Create, with Create Projects, and you've been helping me in an advisory capacity actually for quite a while um, off and on. So, um, so you are not um, only associated with Create, but also one of our partners and our, and our sponsor organization, which is Sac State. Um, but you also are a performing artist yourself and you run a nonprofit. So tell me a little bit about that, if you would. Yes, of course. Well, um, I am a professor at Sacramento State. I came to Sacramento in fall 2005 from New York City, where I lived for 14 years. And uh, I am a professor in the Department of Theater and Dance, and I've served as the chair of the department and vice chair for many years and just love Sacramento. And I'm so glad I ended up here uh, because I love our students and our community and you and create being part of that. Um, and I was so happy to be able to, with the College of Arts and Letters at Sacramento State, help create, get off the ground. And then now as, as, as create moves on to its own, own entity more so, um, it's just very, it's a very exciting time for Create for Sacramento. Um, and I have a dance background. And so I do have a fiscal sponsor, Fractured Atlas out of New York City is my fiscal sponsor. I've had other fiscal sponsors over the years. I've had a dance company since about 1993 and I call it Lorelei Bain Projects. And I do a lot of projects, try to, um, my main, goal is to be an advocate for the arts and an advocate for emerging artists in the dance field in the movement arts and so I create things like Hatch Dance Works in Progress which the Crocker um, Museum of Art has um, hosted for me with me for uh, about 10 years and I created the Sacramento Dance Sampler which we do every spring um, we've been lucky enough to be able to perform it on campus here uh, with the Festival of the Arts that the College of Arts and Letters does, but I bring professional area regional dance companies all together under one roof for a performance and that's been going on about 11 years, wow. so that's been really wonderful mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I just really love working with my professional group and I wish I could, you know, be with them more, but um, the idea of a project company is that they're kind of a pickup company and I do have dancers that I've worked with for many years um, who always join me on projects and then we add some new ones and some go off and do other things and so it's just been really, really wonderful to um have the company move from with me from New York City. I had a mm. company of women. And then when I moved to Sacramento, I expanded and we include all genders and um, just have a wonderful group of collaborators. And um, how, and you talked about a project that's coming up this weekend, um, a performance, and how do people see your work? Where do we see your work? Well, this weekend, there's a play at Sacramento State called Dance Nation. Um, I'm choreographing on students and alum as I'm directing a show called the University Dance Company, and that'll be in December. My work on the professional group um, was shown in a film recently as part of Unite. And um, I'm hoping that the professional group will also be performing in the spring as part of Hatch, we're bringing Hatch back in person at the Crocker that hopefully will be in May. Oh. And the Sacramento Dance Sampler, 
uh, is going to hopefully be in April and will either be in downtown Sacramento or will be on the Sacramento State campus if it works out. So mm -hmm. hopefully those, those um, will be the next upcoming performances. I am choreographing a piece, a dance theater work on students here that'll be shown in December as part of a, a short in-person concert happening December 2nd through 5th. So that's coming up quickly. And how do people find out um, that, how do dance lovers and supporters of the arts find out about these events? Is there oh. a website or yes. someplace? There, yes, we have, um, if you go to the Department of Theater and Dance website, there is a link for all of our productions here. And if you go to lorelibaneprojects.org, that will be listing all of the projects for my professional group that, um, that I truly love. <laughs> and that's L-O-R-E-L-E-I-B-A-Y-N-E dot O-R-G. Yes, just add a projects on there. So Lorelai Bain projects dot okay. org. Yeah. Okay, so L-O-R-E-L-E-I-B-A-Y-N-E projects.org. Perfect, yes. Okay, yes. cool, great. So golly, um, as most artists in that I've had the pleasure of knowing, um, you have a lot of incredible stuff going on. What, what inspires you? If you had a young dancer that came to you, um, what would you tell them? What advice would you give them? And, and what, what keeps you going? And what gets you up in the morning? Wow, I would say <clears throat> I fell in love with the arts and movement and dance and theater. And I just couldn't get enough. And, you know, in my early 20s, and then it just, I've tried to, I did try at first after in my mid 20s to kind of get away from the arts and get a real job. <laughs> and it just, it just never, I, I could never make it stick. So I thought, well, since I'm in love with this, I'm going to learn to be an educator and an artist, you know, artist educator. And so I've really grown to love teaching here at the university. And um, I would tell a young artist to not give up, keep your sense of play. I feel like it keeps us young when we're in the arts because curiosity and um, just wonder, you know, having wonder and curiosity in your life is so, for me, really keeps me going and it makes me feel young at heart. And when I, I just love working with students and I love working with my professional company, even the smallest gesture or look or moment on stage in live performance and in dance film now, you know, um, with COVID, um, art can be so meaningful. And mm -hmm. I love movement because it really can speak volumes about things that sometimes don't have words and we don't have words for. So I would tell a young, you know, aspiring movement artist, dance artist to not give up, that there's a different path in the arts for each individual and that we need artists. We need artists in our world and um, yeah. just to just don't give up, just keep striving. Yeah. What an, what an, what, how inspiring that is and what an incredible role model you are for so many, including me. And, and I've so appreciated your, um, your um, advice and, and help and support on with create. Oh, yeah, it's really meant the world to me. And, um, and probably hundreds of hundreds of young artists that you've had that you've impacted through the year, you know, the students that have come across your path over the years, I'm sure. Oh, thank you. Well, I'm really impressed with you and I'm impressed with the work that Create is doing and that Create will do in the future. It's very exciting. And um, to have an anchor in the community like Create mm -hmm. is really going to allow for, you know, the arts to flourish in District 6 and beyond. So yeah. thank you for all you're doing. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's it is it you know the what you said about the arts. Um, we need more of the arts. We need more artists. Um, we need and we need to support the art artists that are out there. Um, is really true. 
I yeah. feel really strongly about that too. Yes. Well, um, anything, any other words of wisdom that you would like to leave us with this evening? Wow. I usually fall back on a quote from Bill T. Jones, who's one of my favorite dance theater artists, but I'm blanking on the quote. Um, I do, I'm, I'm, we just had our Sacramento Black Art of Dance auditions mm -hmm. last night. And so oh, Catherine wow. Dunham comes to mind and <laughs> Catherine Dunham um, says dance is a way of life. And yeah. so I think we all go through life dancing and um, I just wish and hope that people can continue dancing as we transition through the racial reckoning and through COVID and every way that, mm -hmm. that, that um, our communities are transforming for the better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, dance is, I'm definitely not, you know, gifted in that area or a professional, but it's always been a lot to me and my family. We just have fun with dance, you know, dance yes. has always been something that, you know, my parents danced as a couple. I remember watching them, you know, and, and so I really, I really appreciate, appreciate and love it to love to watch it. And, um, so um, what I'm going to do is I will put um, the laurelibainproject.org on the Facebook page. So I'll be um, posting this, this interview on our Facebook page, Create okay. District 6, mm -hmm. and also our YouTube channel create, under Create District 6. So people can access it that way. Great. So, yeah. Thank you so much for having yeah. me. It's an honor to be yeah. interviewed and I'm so lucky and honored to do what I get to do every day and just want to share as much as I can. So I appreciate this opportunity. Yes. Thank you. Thanks so much for the time and thank you for, for all you do for the art world and for Sacramento's art world. <laughs> and thank you. we'll talk soon. Right back at you. Thank you so okay. much, Marianne. Okay. <laughs>